Hello Fnuffers, this is Prince Khan and Sir Fnaf. And what if I will tell you that we already encountered the room with Bone Trap in a past Fnaf game, even before Fnaf 6? After Fnaf 9 came out, we found out that Fnaf 6 is under the Pizza Plex, just as we all theorized after seeing the levels from Fnaf Furious Rage. And as you know, if we go down even deeper, then we will find Bone Trap's room. At first, I thought it was the office from FNAF 6, but soon I realized that it is actually a different office, a one that we encountered even before FNAF 6. If you are interested, subscribe to my channel to not miss any of my videos and press that like button with that bell. The room where we fight against Burn Trap is the private room from FNAF sister location. You may not recognize it at first, because you are actually on the opposite side of the room in FNAF 9. The room where Burn Trap wakes up at has a computer on a desk, a vent above it that leads to the opposite room, and doors on the right and left walls. Then there are two corridors, both are connected to the rooms at the sides. The corridors also lead to the room we defend ourselves from Glamrock, which is a long room with two doors that are looking the same direction and connect to the corridors. This is the exact same shape the FNAF 6 location's private room had. We know that FNAF 6 location is underground and actually deep underground because of the time it takes to get to it on an elevator. And so it could be possible that FNAF 6 was built on top of sister location and then Pizzaplex was built on top of FNAF 6. This would explain things like Mike's room, which could have been his actual room, because he probably lived somewhere close if not right above the sister location. Also, it could explain why does the molten Phantom Freddy has the original baby's mask and Phantom Freddy's head, instead of the molten and scrap variants, because they were probably still laying in the scooping room of this location, which is the place he was roaming around alongside Burn Trap. And so that means that FNAF 9 is on top of FNAF 6, which is on top of FNAF sister location. Another thing that I want to mention is that there is a theory that FNAF 6 is actually Fredbear's family diner, rebranded and redesigned to be a trap for William and the others. The place where it all started is the place where it all ends. And as we know from FNAF sister location, the breaker room tablet, Fredbear's family diner alongside the Afton House are connected to sister location. And in FNAF 6 minigame later that night, we see Juniors, which by one of the theories is Fredbear's. Close is a house, which could be by one of the other theories, the Afton House. But there is also a place with something that looks like just a lot of junk pile. And in Fazbear Frights Book 3, 1.35 am, Story 2, Room for One More, we find out the sister location has an entrance that is located in the middle of nowhere in a junk pile. Now that I think about it, FNAF 6 and FNAF 9 is located with a bunch of junk as well. And so if FNAF 6 is the same place as FNAF 4's Fredbears, or juniors, then it proves my theory that the burn traps room is the private room from FNAF sister location. Anyways, that was my little theory for today. Write your opinion in the comments below on to what you think of it, or you can join my Discord server in the description and talk about it there, and maybe share some of your theories there. But for now, that's it. Subscribe to my channel to not miss any of my videos, press that like button with a bell, and remember, I always come back.